Next tonight, some new information in the discovery of three heavily decomposed bodies. They were found at the Gold Creek Campground about 30 miles northeast of Gunnison. A hiker stumbled across the partially mummified bodies earlier this month. Since then, we've learned the bodies were part of a close-knit family, a woman from Colorado Springs, her sister and teenage son. Yeah, today our Gabriela Vidal spoke with their family, who says it all started with an idea to live off the grid. For many, the Colorado mountains are a symbol of beauty and adventure. But for one Colorado Springs family, now a tragic reminder of the dangers of living off the grid and the lives they lost. Nobody and nothing would have gotten in my way if I could find them. Tears of regret and even some anger. They really didn't, it just did not want to be found at all. This pisses me off. It was on July 11th that Trevor Ajara learned a hiker from the bodies of her two stepsisters and teenage nephew in the Gunnison County National Forest. People don't realize how hard it is to live off the grid. Jara says Christine was a lively and outgoing sister who did anything for the ones she loved. Her sister Becky was more reserved and protective of her son. She was fearful of the way the world was going. And she wasn't paranoid. There was no, you know, nothing to do with conspiracy theories. It was in early August 2022 that Becky set out to live off the grid with her son and Christine. We offered our property up in the mountains. That is pretty much off the grid. We had an RV up there with the generator and we begged them to just use our property. But the sisters didn't take Jara's lifeline. According to the Gunnison County coroner, their bodies appeared malnourished and may have died from starvation, freezing temperatures or carbon monoxide poisoning trying to make a fire. It was so hard. I was so hoping we could convince them. Now Jara is hoping her family's story can instead convince others to think twice or better prepare before choosing a life off the grid. Because if you have no experience, you need that lifeline. You need it. In Colorado Springs, Gabriella Vidal covering Colorado First.